Morning, everybody. Mike Nemec here with some early morning grain and oil seed comments for Thursday, October 23rd. Well, after yesterday's uh, midday and late day sell-off, we really didn't see much in the way of follow-through in the overnight trade. But once again, not much of a bounce either. Kind of worked two-sided early. And as coming on uh, the camera here right now, we've got the, depending on which wheat market you want to talk about, up one to down two cents. Corn and beans are now a little bit on the easier side, down around two cents each. The meal market down around a buck and a half, and the soybean oil market down around, excuse me, up around 20 points. So anyway, mix here to start off with. We have been on somewhat of a mini three to four week rally in our grain and oil seed markets, but this after being on a sharp break from the April-May time period. Part of it's technical, part of it's that we're moving our way through harvest, not getting hit with a lot of farmer selling. Part of it's been pricing by the user. Yesterday we had an announced sale of beans to China and unknown destinations, and all that's given us somewhat of a little bit of a mini rally. And once again, we're still pretty much sitting near the highs of that bounce. In particular, it's been coming from the meal market as far as a indication that the farmer sell rate has not been all that heavy. Obviously, we have a big supply of corn and grains, oil seeds out in the country right now. Cash markets, particularly for the meal, be it the crushing margins, the spreads, the flat price, and or even versus the oils out there trying to say, give me the beans and give me the meal, because we have users that are in need of it, running on the heels of a small crop and or usage of last year. Well, yesterday we kind of came into a little bit of a burst of that bubble. There was news of maybe some switching going on of U.S. meal sales to Argentina. There was some talk of some of those meal business that was going to go to export, moving into our domestic channels. There was also some talk of some maybe stepped up farmer selling of beans and corn to some degree with the fact that we are on this little mini rally in the marketplace. And once again, at the end of the day, it's going to really all boil down to how fast do we get to see the corn and beans move into the pipeline because that's what this bounce is really all about. We really aren't running around and talking about scarcity here in the U.S. and or abroad. And if we continue our rally here in the U.S., all we really find out is that we continue to pace ourselves versus the foreign competition. And once again, we'll get nowhere in trying to rid ourselves of this large crop. Speaking of ridding it, in a little bit we'll be getting out weekly sales. Once again, we'll see what type of business we're doing. But in the long and short run of things, it's really all about the farmer sell rate, trying to get good weather, which is in the forecast, to continue moving the beans into the pipelines and the corn, of which, once again, we feel will be the eventuality, and continue to keep the carryout levels both here and abroad in somewhat of a non-bullish environment. So once again, a little bit of a mini bounce, but in the scheme of things, nothing that really suggests fundamentally getting us out of this non-bullish environment overall. Once again, these are my opinions, not that of ADM or ADMIS. Thank you.